most of you have um, accomplished in your life probably wouldn't have been done without at least one good teacher. And so having somebody who can create a spark in you, make you think about uh, what you can do, how far you can go, what kinds of experiments you can create, uh, that's a very important skill to have. And I do this on a daily basis. And, I, and you know, for me to see that in somebody who doesn't ordinarily teach for a living is pretty interesting and unique. And for Mary Beth here, I've known her for 10 years. And her job is very unique. Those of you who watch all the crazy shows on television, CSI and Bones and those things, this is the lady who lives it. And what's more than the fact that she lives it is that she spreads the knowledge of the love of science, what you can do with science, what you can do to help people, and, and how far you can go. She interacts with medical school students, George Washington, Georgetown University, through her work at the Medical Examiner's Office in DC. Uh, but prior to that, she actually worked with living patients, right? Uh, at Montefiore in New York City, after graduating from Duke University's Physician's Assistant School. So she has the world open to her, but she has chosen a route which is pretty unique. And what I saw when I met her was somebody who not only did a job that is pretty much unsung in our community, but also something that was very, very important. And when I reached out to her and asked her to come and be part of my school curriculum, she said, absolutely. She said, the one thing we need is more young people to appreciate what's out there, what they can do, how much they can achieve in their lives. And you know, working in the DC environment can't be especially, uh, um, you know, super rewarding in the sense that you see a lot of young people who don't have a lot of purpose. So the reason that I nominated Mary Beth is because she spends every opportunity she can reaching out to young people and saying, look what you can do, look what I did, look what you can achieve. And, and they look at her and say, but you know what you do? Boy, that's kind of unusual. And she says, no, you know, I help people and I create something you know, that, that is very important. And so she continues the spark that I hope I create in my classroom. And so for that reason, I nominated her for the Crump Saw Award for non-traditional teaching. Mary Beth the track.